but let me start. Uh, but let me start this meeting because uh, we have to start uh, now. And in terms of video. Uh, hi guys, uh, we are on and we are live and uh, with us is a team of teachers who are also part of um, together the next uh, of the series join us and you can be able to have a look at uh, uh, what we are having together. So we are here and uh, probably you may be able to see us and we want to learn together uh, on this particular uh, thing because learning and teaching online is now very mandatory and we think uh, is the way to go and some of us are here so we want to learn some of the tools together today. So meanwhile, um, let me just go straight to what we want to learn together so wherever you are kindly join us uh, so that we are able to learn um, i'll try to be as slow as possible so that we work with the people with the teachers who we are who we are, who are here and also you guys who are outside there we want to work uh, together to see to it that uh, we learn something small about this so today we want to talk about this class dojo remember when we we're talking about learning management system we were really focusing more on uh, maybe things like uh, we talked majorly on uh, when talk about we've talked about a model when talk about learning management tools there's one called a model and that a model basically we recommend that one for students who are a bit older like grade three four and above and, and, and not younger one. And today, I think I was, I was going to make a mistake of just going ahead without really talking about these learners who are uh, probably younger than probably grade one and going downwards or grade two, one, and the preschool. These are the people we are talking about. But these tools, like Edmodo, is basically for the older one. Then we have Google Classroom. But Google Classroom is also, again, not uh, recommended for very young kids. This particularly university, high school, and older kids, even upper kids. And when you when you look around, you will see what people are doing. Many people are just running towards Google Classroom and they are moving around with it. And then you're wondering, is it really appropriate for that kid, that age? So we are thinking. And there are, we recommend you don't go for Google Classroom when you're dealing with younger kids. So today I want to talk about these younger kids and the younger ones. And that's the, the reason why we are here. And apparently we have teachers who deal with the younger kids. We don't want to leave even anybody behind. So it's only you will have to bear with me. Those who had prepared uh, to have a session with the uh, on, on feedback and how to create rubrics. We may we may touch it a bit, but I want us to really consider these other younger kids, the preschool and the K or uh, baby class all the way. We want to work with them. So with, with them, we recommend this tool. There are a couple of tools, but this is what we are recommending for those preschool. It's called Class Dojo. And the Class Dojo, definitely we can see how the classroom looks like. We are going to go straight and get yourself. You can create uh, a teacher's account. It's important you can create teacher's account. That is what I want to do. And then you can be able to see the whole class. So I'm going to go straight to the browser and I'll be sharing my browser with you. Um, and so that at least we see uh, what we are talking about. I hope this browser can it be seen? Ah, perfect. It's there. Great. So the browser is there. Ah, it's, it's big enough. Good. Uh, you can be able to see that browser. And uh, as usual, just I recommend again, let me just say <laughs> uh, I've used the wrong browser. I recommend I'm recommending uh, Google Chrome because there are some features in, in Dojo 
that only Chrome can do. Of course, the browser that I've just shown you, this one is uh, the one for, uh, I call it Brave. That's also another browser. We, we have several browsers uh, with us, but what I recommend is uh, for this dojo, for the classroom, this, there are features there that you cannot be able to experience when you're using a different browser. But I want you to be able to experience it. You have to use uh, uh, Google uh, Google Chrome. So if you are on Chrome, whoever, uh, because I'm seeing most of you are also in Chrome, you say you just write in the address bar. This is particularly the address bar, this section. You can see here, all right? So when you put a cursor there and just, uh, they say class dojo, uh, dot com. I, I guess that is glass dojo dot com. This is specifically specifically for the younger kids. So class dojo dot com will bring you to that particular space. And uh, as you can see in the class dojo, uh, we have all the alternatives. One of the things that you'll want to do is to sign up. If you you not signed up, you will be requested to sign up, okay? So those who have not signed up, you can sign up as a teacher or as a student or as a parent or as a school leader. If you are having a school, you can sign up as a school leader. If you're having, uh, if you're a teacher, sign up as a teacher. Just try signing up as a teacher and you can be able to see. So you can sign up as a teacher. So you are a Mrs. Who or a Mr. Who. So I'll give you like two minutes. You try signing up as a teacher. Meanwhile, uh, the teachers who are with us from around, I'm seeing they're almost getting to 200 plus. Uh, just keep, uh, make use of the Q&A section. And I hope the sound is clear. Uh, and you're getting, yes, the sound is perfect. And I can see Q&A section. Uh, so I'll be reading your, your session, your Q, Q questions as we move on. Let me publish them. <coughs> yes. For the email. Great. Yeah, any email, any, your personal email, not necessarily that. Any email will work. Personal email better. Uh, so, I think teachers are writing. Uh, this teacher Maxwell saying good morning. Uh, great teachers, great to join in. Uh, teachers, uh, the teachers who are greeting you because they can be able to see you uh, online. And uh, the others saying waiting. Then somebody said make an announcement. I think maybe someone. How can rubrics help learners? Sarah Bella, what? Wow, that is a new way of teaching. If you are not using rubrics, then your assessment is questionable. And for CBC, that is a new way of teaching because rubrics is very, 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 uh, Sarah says, what are the benefits of using rubrics in learning? It is the best assessment tool ever because it is not judgmental. It is very transparent and also it helps the learners work with it. Okay. Good. All right. So everybody has managed. So never if if, if this a computer you'll be using, you can save your password. Congrats, you are in. So at least teachers have managed to go in. And if you are in, once you are in, this is how it looks like. Now let us go and see how it looked like. That's how it looks like. Maybe uh you don't need to worry about that. Just okay, click so outside. In. You are in class dojo. Just click outside, away from that. Uh, maybe when you're opening, there are several windows that open, so you can just can close console. them. Yeah, just close them from up there. Yes, uh, because it's the first time you're using. How many people have money to go in? You have created. Yeah, I'm using the phone. It's okay. It's okay. No, any yours. You are just creating one. Oh, so you can use any password? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All 
David, how are you? Uh, we are good. Uh, just wait a moment. Okay, somebody's calling. Uh, let me just get somebody to speak. All right, uh, all right. Edward, are you there? How are you? Yes, yes, I'm here shortly. I'm here shortly. Okay, you can talk to the teachers here. So we are all working on uh, Class Dojo. So we are learning oh. new things here and there. So we're just logging in kindly. All right, that's fine. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an amazing classroom for the for the for the young people uh, and especially the preschool. Uh, I just want to encourage them to be able to take it very seriously, especially in terms of designing activities. Uh, they might be able to receive feedback they've never received. Maybe students are just doing painting and sending and sharing with them. But the kind of feedback they are able to give is very, very important so that the students are able to improve their work. And remember, these people are closed in homes or in houses, so they really have to contextualize whatever activities they are giving them so that uh, they are able to be relevant. You don't tell somebody that now go to the cyber. They are not going to the cyber. They, they, they are in their house, in their home. So it's just good to be able to contextualize your activities so that you, they are able to be relevant to the, to, the, to the remote learner. Thank you. Thank you so much, Edward. And uh, I guess uh, we are, we've just been learning, so probably I uh, will remove your video because the whole world is just looking at your video now. Uh, we can go back to the, to the classroom here and continue with our presentation. And I think uh, we were particularly working. Has anybody, has anybody worked on, on their, their piece? Mm -hmm. we, are, we are now in, okay? Yes. Okay, now let me just uh, probably... Uh, I don't know whether Mary has managed because uh, I think uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, some people are managing to get in. Okay, now that you are <clears throat> now that we are in. Okay, let us just see this. Now, uh, once you are inside the Google Class, I mean the Class Dojo, this is called Class Dojo, it comes automatically with demo. But you have, you have said, so just click on Class Dojo here. Okay, there's, there's that Class Dojo, click on it so that you can get to your class. Oh, you have not even created a class. Okay, just click on Class Dojo. The, and when you click on it, uh, is it really clicking? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe maybe because it's the first time, or you need to search your school. Can you search the name of the school if the school has been added? I hope because I told mm -hmm. Mary to add. But maybe, maybe or was it? Or how is it called? Yeah, it's there. It's there. Join it. Oh wait. <laughs> ah, I didn't get it. Bambini. Eh, Montessori. Join it, yes. In Zimbabwe. That's in Zimbabwe. Yeah. Not in Nairobi, Kenya. We don't have any Nairobi, Kenya. In Mauritius. Mauritius. Uh, no. Akuna. Akuna Nairobi. Uh -uh. It's not here. Oh, somebody did not create it, eh? <laughs> ah. Akuna. Is Mercy online? Can she see us? Mercy, I don't know whether she can see us, but I think I've shared with her a link. I've, I've even invited her so she can create. But if at all she hasn't created, uh, just to get, let's find your school. Just pick one, no problem, we'll be able to join the other one too. <laughs> pick any bambini, <laughs> now you are caught. Because uh, I thought, Which I thought you must have done that. Uh, you should say something. It's okay, so, so, any. Yes, pick any, but you... No, yeah. That one, that's why we needed... Uh, Ma that, uh, you can, you can, because being the, the leader, you can go in as a school leader mm -hmm. and then create a school and then let the teachers join. It is, mm -hmm. it is important that you create a school and the teachers join. 
Is it possible? I think the doctor wants to see it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just do it once. What I want you to do then, you, you can join my school. Then for the demo, then you'll be, be able to get back. You can join many other schools. It is allowed, no problem. Let us just uh, then type I and I and I and school because Kitabo to Pate Masi at Atuliza. I and I and can you see I and school? Even small or big, no problem. Yes, yes, that one definitely. No, let's switch I and just scroll down, you'll see I and school. Uh, I am. I am Kenya remote learning. Yes, I am Kenya remote learning. Yes, yes. Yes, that one. Just click on it. Yes, I am Kenya remote learning. Yes, I am Kenya remote learning. So you can join the school. Yes, good. Perfect. Now you are in. So once you're in the school, get just started. yeah, click get started, or even you can click outside, but join it's okay. School? Yes, join the school. So we will take Mercy through so that she knows how to. So when you start, uh, get started, then uh, I know you are looking at it from the phone, but I'll get you. It's the, Kwanza, the app is even super, it's so sweet, yeah? mm -hmm. uh, but it's OK. So what happens in most cases, you get a demo class. With demo class, you are given like five students mm -hmm. free so that you start learning from it. But you can start your own class, OK? Mm -hmm. You can just start a new class. <clears throat> but meanwhile, mm -hmm. in the demo class, let us look at what is in the demo class. In the demo class, um, if you can see the demo class, in the demo class, you can see what is in the demo class, okay? You have five students. Mm -hmm. And in the five students, you can now add your students even in the demo class if you want to add. Mm -hmm. And how do you add the students? The plus. You know, the, you can see the interface is very simple. It's not like Google Classroom. It's not like the other ones, which actually you look at them and you see bigger students. But here, when you're coming in, you're just seeing kids, small kids, the feeling of the kids. Mm -hmm. The same way even when they also want to come in, they will all, they'll always see themselves as kids. So we want to see all that. This is the perspective of the teacher. So you can add your student. When you want to add a student, you have to keep, remember it is first name and last name, okay? So remember it is first name. Let me just move it a bit big so you can be able to see it is first name and last name. So you have an option of even having a whole list. You now have a list, okay, of your learners. You just have to come here and if you click or you copy so when you copy paste you'll be given a whole space you just go to where the, it is in word then copy paste the only thing make sure how are the names arranged first name last name and you know because they are young kids we're not going to ask for telephone number we're not going to ask for email we can't ask of anything of the young children we can only pick their first name and last name only so you can create your list with that Okay, because I'm teaching you because you people you are going to implement this straight away from here now. Next week, your learners, mm -hmm. you are going to have your schools open. So if at all, the first name of the learner is called probably Mary, and then the next, the last name, we just put a space and write probably Brenda is the next name. So, and then once you put it like that, there will be this. Uh, you can see the next but here is, do you want to add Mary Brenda? Mm -hmm. And then that's what you click, okay? Mm -hmm. Putting it here is not enough. It, it will show here. Mm -hmm. If you had put so many of them, you'll see all of them there. Then you ask whether you want to add. You just confirm. Yes, by clicking that, now it's been saved, okay? And you don't click, don't over click save. Once they say saved, it's even written here. Already we have put Mary mm -hmm. Brenda. And you can close, you can remove Mary Brenda. If you click save again, it will add another Mary Brenda so many times. So you can close from the X button here. Mm -hmm. So we go back to class and we can find Mary. Uh, so if we refresh, were we adding Mary here? Uh, did we all, were we supposed to save? Maybe I did not save. Okay. Uh, let, we, we needed to click, I didn't click the save button. So let me just do it Mary again. 
and then Brenda here. Mary and Brenda, uh, teachers are many online. Uh, they're almost like, uh, so once I save, okay? When I save, it mm -hmm. comes here. So Mary is here. Can you see Mary? Mm -hmm. And the good thing with this tool, the names of the students are only one name, one name, because at this particular level, they, they are always known with one name. And the name you want them to have can be those names that they love so much. Then this is how it is. So as a teacher, you have this, okay? Now I think we've done that from, uh, uh, let me go back to, yes, yeah, so the demo classroom. So in the demo classroom, you have how many students? Mm -hmm. Seven students, okay? Seven kids, seven pupils or seven learners. Let us call them learners. And you have so many options and whatever thing you can do. But I want to call your attention. Let me just put it a bit big so that you see. Uh, because in most cases, when you're on the web browser, this is how it looks like. But again, as other tools are, you have a section for the classroom. In the classroom, you have the names of the students and even the groups. You can decide you want to create groups for the learners. Maybe table one, table two, table three. You see the way you usually do them in groups. Group one, group two. So you add the groups. So you keep and you can add a group by clicking add group so that you just click I want Beyonds, David and Denzel to belong to this group. OK, and then probably you call the group name. You probably call it group Lion. This is called group Lion. So group Lion has got who and who inside there are three. Uh, and you can see who are they? They are Beyonds, David and Denzel. So you can put students in groups or you can have a whole register. And then I don't want to mix you and I want to see the, the interface is a bit simple. Uh, and now I can see you, you, everybody's doing something. Can you be able to see? Can you add Can you add a student in your demo class? Let us try. Let us add uh, a learner in your demo class. You managed. Yeah, so you can add. And it's a demo class. So you can, you can just add a learner by typing the first name and the last name. Aha, uh -huh, you're adding. So we are learning uh, for the la for the young learners. Anita here. We are talking about the young learners, particularly uh, because we've been struggling with the older learners with Google Classroom is older learners like from uh, secondary school and above. Mm -hmm. And then we have, uh, we, have, we, have we, we have seen people using Google Classroom for even up to grade four, but we recommend for grade four, three, five, even up to class eight, they use a model. Then for form fours and above, they use Google Classroom. Because again, the idea of email address, we don't want the young kids to be thinking about email address at this particular age. Let them just be able to depend on the adults. Uh, but because the older ones, they can now start having email addresses, Google Classroom would be uh, appropriate for them. But remember, these are just learning tools. They may not be, they may not qualify as full learning management system and for schools that wants uh, learning management systems we can be able to support you especially the customized and installed learning management solution but these are uh, these tools like class dojo are very good tools for teachers to be able to reach learners and to be able to do some of the features remember of learning management system which is to communicate with learners to give assignment to the learners to be able to have learners assess assignment and be able to uh, bring back the assignment, to submit assignment. So we are looking forward to, to have uh, that done. Great, I think maybe you've done the classes, yeah? We can go to the next step, okay? Class Dojo is meant for younger kids, preschool, baby class, and, uh, and probably lower classes, lower classes, and you can see the way we have sat on very low desks, meaning 
we are really sitting on their small chairs and their small tables because this is their day for us to think about them because they also want to learn they are at home but teachers don't have appropriate tools to learn to to work with them so we are thinking about them so in terms of we've seen a classroom section mm -hmm. then we have portfolio section can you see the portfolio section yes. mm -hmm. it's at the portfolio here there's even a video where you can learn how to but i don't want you to play the video we don't have enough here is where you create activities for the learning okay mm -hmm. in the portfolio you can create an activity for the learners to start learning and look at the pattern for create activity let me just Make it big for uh, so you'll see create activity for the learning here. So when you click create activity, the learners, then you have to create. Maybe it is uh, this activity. You can just even call them because I know you usually call them learning activity. Remember here we are only dealing with learning activity. I could remember your lessons. Here is an activity and it can be just small activity. Then you can put instruction uh, probably. Um, do something, blah, 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 you give for them. And then you you have, uh, you, let me just make it big, so that, but that is how it should be. <laughs> Somebody's already <laughs> doing it. So you can give the student the instruction, then you ask yourself, what do you want them to submit? What will they submit? Maybe they'll submit a text, you, they'll submit a video recording, or they'll submit a photo, or they submit a drawing. What do you want them to submit? So that is how you will. Uh, so if at all, that is it. Um, draw, uh, maybe draw your cut. Probably if that is the instruction you want. Now you expect them to submit a drawing. So you click assign to class. So the whole class will see the activity mm -hmm. i getting the point mm -hmm. apparently you have not joined us students but the whole class will see the activity i'll show you how to get the students to see the activities okay mm -hmm. so you see apparently the whole class will be able to see the activities so to student devices what next mm -hmm. so they let the student log in and do the activity you know this tool you'll be using even when you are in school okay but student work in shared home uh to families so if they are at home then you have to give them how do you want them to log in to get this we will be showing you that okay so we have seen that you can create what an assignment or an activity for the learners to be able to to learn okay then we have uh so who is who is asking for control uh Somebody wants to get, so you see somebody can ask for control here. Uh, as, and then if I give control, then they'll have, they'll be the one, to, uh, whatever, yes. uh, moving the, our cursor. Mm. But of course, I'll also move with it. It's not like team viewer here, because you can be able to support somebody, uh, as somebody who is a bit, a bit far, and a teacher or a student, you know, the way the student, uh, you can be able to get into their computer through here, uh, through Teams, and tell them, click here, and they see your cursor. Because by the time if I give control, all the two cursors, his cursors and my cursor will be on the screen. So they'll follow you. And like, you follow my, follow my cursor. They follow your cursor until you reach. Now here, okay? You click. Now you, you get that. No, no, really technology in Missouri. It can open so many things. So let, let, yes. Before just go, Correct. is it you who put my name as Miss or what is it or what? Happened? No, you can just go back and. <laughs> I think it, that one it, it happens all the time because you see mostly this thing takes it that most of the teachers who are handling young, younger kids are majority are Miss. <laughs> so even me. So what you need to do, you can go back to the account setting here and change it here change your title even me for the first time it was miss oh, david uh, uh, don't worry about the photo this is a photo of edward is the one i put there uh, <laughs> and uh, so you find yourself called miss miss morris and then uh, who is this miss morris okay good so apart from that let us go to class story this is where things are amazing 
Because this is where now you can communicate with kids. You can even type something uh, for the class. You just type something for the class. You can even give the whole work. And yeah, this area is where I really love using because students will be able to see the class story is like a section where they can even comment, they can talk. I mean, you can talk with their parents and whatever, but always it's just like a, it's just like an area, common room where everybody is seen. Besides, you know, the portfolio, at the portfolio, you'll be able to see students' work. Each one will be showing here. Students' work will be showing so that you see who has submitted and who has not submitted, okay? But here, you can, you can see everything that is in the class. They, all the work or the conversation you've had with the class, you can tell them things here, uh, right? For example, I want to give them maybe a photo. I want just to put a photo for the class. So you can drop, or maybe I can go to my desktop. Uh, let me see what, what do I have in the desktop here. Uh, all right, let me pick uh, a file like uh, maybe I have an activity like maybe this. So, and I, yes, that's the activity. Then I can upload that. So when I upload, and then you can see in the class, so I post. When I post, so I, they, it'll appear. I get it in their class. So recognize and color. So you see students will be able to recognize this and even right. color. Are you getting the point? Um, question. A question. Uh, as uh, you're doing the class story, they'll right. also have to click uh, class story on the other end. No, they will see whatever things that happens in the class story when they go in. I will show you the, the student perspective, mm -hmm. the learner's perspective we are going to see. But now this is, so you see, you can be able to put all your, your stuff. So is it not is it, is, is it not good? Uh, it's good. And then there's also another thing. Again, you can come to your again the same same story and even record yourself. Yeah, and you're like saying, uh, uh, I hope uh, which 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 camera will it come? I don't know whether it's this one or that one. But again, that is where now the good thing I think because I'm online. But you you find uh, you if you are using your it's. This one can only happen in Google Chrome because others won't. The 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 other the other browsers don't like that. Okay, so with Google Chrome, if you click on it, and the video of your, your yourself will come. And you know, look at I, I want to show you some of the videos that have been created by parents, and I was just uh, by teachers, some of the teachers whom we work with in our network. I want to show you some of the videos that they have created. Like for example, and because students want these younger people, they want to see. Okay, let me just show you. They have a class. Uh, uh, where is my class? Is it here? Who is falling? Those falling. chairs, those small chairs. <laughs> falling, don't fall down. Okay. All right. So look at look at the way teachers have used the same tool to talk. You can even come the three of you because you are talking and you are their student. And it's before you even share those photos you are sharing. Remember those ones of the activities. It is recommended you do a launch video. These young people want to connect with you. You may not be there face to face because the problem maybe you want those 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 time when you are scheduling the live session but the live session is okay but if you want to give them work it's, it's recommended before you give them work you just put you record a small video and it should not be more than one minute it's good but again the video for this even when you're creating video for the younger kids even if it's a video you want to show them an activity the video should not be beyond eight minutes rule no video beyond, even if you put here a video beyond eight minutes it will just stop at eight minutes because for the younger kids, the concentration cannot go beyond eight minutes, remember. So look at what these teachers, maybe you cannot be able to get the sound, uh, but these amazing teachers are saying something. Uh, let me just play.
So right, this is such Here it that's the same way you teach now. These guys are teaching, but yours may be different. Or it can be an activity like this. Uh, let me just. I hope it, it reaches at the end. Um, when you're making the recording, is it possible to run post and post to one of the groups that you've created? You don't want it to go to like everybody. You want yes, to yes. send to a specific group. It is very possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. You see, it's showing them the materials inside the house. So you see, the younger teach the younger kids, they really need to be supported. They miss Now you have seen what you can be able to do. You have now started seeing it can work. And the only thing you actually do is to ensure that uh, those launch videos are very important when you're having a launch video for the younger kids because they want to connect with their teacher. The moment they see their teacher, that teacher learning begins. Because even parents at home cannot teach them Akuna, even if you are a professor, you can never teach your kid. They just look at you, but you're not our teacher. Teacher says, you don't know anything. <laughs> even if you're telling them one plus one is two. Yeah, and they say, that. no, teacher did not say one plus one is two. Teacher said one plus one is two. I get to the point. Yeah. So you see the way them, and you see right now, surely, there are the people who are missing out. Yeah. They, they can't look at the KIE videos and like see anything. They can't even associate with it. No, no matter how much the government is doing and every other people are doing to trying to give them the work, they want their teacher, and this is their most important. Yes. Only can only respond to their specific teacher. Some other they might not even respond to other teachers. No, they cannot respond to other teachers. So that's why we want every teacher out there to start using Class Dojo. You start reaching out to your kid using class dojo when they see your face now learning begins mm -hmm. so you need to do just a simple uh a simple video to introduce yourself even before giving them uh, some of those uh work mm -hmm. then they'll want to see your video so i think it is very important uh, that you see that maybe now we, let's go in the messages section definitely you're not going to message the, the kids you only message parents. So you can only be allowed to message the parents. You cannot be able to message the kids. So here you only message the parent. So how do you get the parent? The best thing is, for example, if let us go back to the classroom and we see how we can connect the parent. If you click on any student like Beyonce, for example, you will have very many things. One of them is, you know, in the classroom, you can give them thumbs up on a test you can give them a badge you know the way you reward them with badges you can reward them with anything else and you can even edit the kind of skills you want you are looking for so that you reward those skills things about that and then you can now add to that particular student a post remember somebody asked if i only want to give 
opposed to a particular student. Yeah. Now that's where you now come in at the post. Mm -hmm. Are you getting? Mm -hmm. Like now here you'll be talking about the photo. This is yours. You have to do this. Or probably it's a video. You have to put it to that student alone to have it. Then you need to invite the parent. Mm -hmm. The invitation part is there. Mm -hmm. You can invite the parent of uh, mm -hmm. the, the learner. But because you don't want to do one by one, maybe there are more than one, okay? You, if even if I close here, there's this part of invite parents. You can close that one if you want to invite one parent at a time. Mm. But if I click on invite parents, then the list of the learners in my class will come. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And all of them I'll be able to put there uh, so that they, they be part of this space. I get yeah, in the point. Actually, it's hard to, uh, all parents. It's one to send to all at once. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Yeah. You, it has all that. By the way, by the time you finish this, you see the problem. Probably with me, the challenge is I learned so many tools, so I may not be able to measure on one so well. But you people now, you are in this tool. Next time, I'll be looking for you guys to help me learn more about this tool, especially for the long, uh, the younger. Uh, kids, the younger learners, because they are being left out completely in the learning and we don't want to leave them out. Yes, so you can pick beyond this parent and we invite with email. So when you click there, the email will be, re will be sent to them to, to be on board. That is one way of bringing on board the parents. Okay, but I'll show you many, many, many other ways. You can as well, hey, imagine you can even invite another teacher, a co-teacher, because you'll be having teachers you can be two of you teaching one class as it's in the other schools so the co-teacher will be there uh you can change the scales you can change the settings you can even change many other things okay co-teacher mm. yes you go to invite when you're talking about invite parents their part of co-teacher will also appear okay right so here we are and then the attendance you can even mark the register Maybe a particular day, a student did not appear. Jennifer did, was not in. These are the students who are not in the class. You can mark the register. Okay, so, register again. Okay. Well, down. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm taking you to the tools which are a bit down. I don't know whether our, our guys uh, online are also... Uh, we can mark all of them present. And let me just go back to class. All uh, right, cancel. Mm -hmm. uh, down here on the attendance. At attendance, we can see some of the, uh, let me just, you know the problem, there are people who are just watching the screen, they have nothing else we to see, and, oh yeah, so cancel that. So you can see here we have attendance, mm -hmm. down, 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 okay. Um, so you can do, uh, you can select several students so that you give them the post, send to them or random maybe a random a random student especially if you are working with them and you are live synchronous you know you want to even you can give a timer you know sometimes you give them activity of even four minutes start now and they're starting they're working on the activity and say now the time is up two seconds now you can now stop okay the countdown are there and students love when they are working. I mean, teachers, now you have a lot, a lot, a lot of things to be able to work with, guys. Uh, and that was the stopwatch. And the countdown and the stopwatch. Yeah, so, uh, so like that, let me just click outside to get, okay, the class. Here is the class story. At, th at least we have that. Mm -hmm. And for the and even the assignment, we can also now tell the student, can you do the assignment? Here is also where you can put the link and kindly, uh, maybe you go to, even if it's YouTube, you get the link, you come and post it here, okay? We have seen you can record your video. Uh, I don't know why, is it because I'm presenting? Uh, and somebody managed to present to, to do a small video yeah. <laughs> in the story, class story, okay? Yeah. It will appear in the class story. But again, remember, you can also upload a video. You know, sometimes you do a video away uh, 
Because remember, this video can only take up to how many? Eight minutes. And maybe you want to do something more than eight, eight minutes. minutes. Or maybe you have a video that you didn't record with your computer. You recorded it with your phone. You know, there are those videos you've made one and a good one. You'll be using it at every other time. Mm -hmm. So it's in the phone. If you're using the app, then you'll be able to access the video. The only problem now with the laptop, you can't access the, you can't browse and get that video, which is away. But here you can uh, be able to get it. Use your camera. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now allow the use. Allow camera use. Allow. Click allow. Yes. So that because they want to. Yes. Now your video is good. So can you? Can you? Can people get to the video? Ah, yeah. So you can create. No, you need that light. You need that light for the video. Kwa mgongo. Sawa, kuna shida. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, who has not managed? It is because you are not in the Google Chrome. Eh? Okay, good. I think the progress is good. It's still loading. Oh, it's loading like mine here. Uh, and I think maybe it's because it is looking for permission for your for your gadgets. Like you see, this person has money. So those are some of the things you need to check before we start going like uh, live with our. Okay, we have several teachers online and I think we are doing good. Uh, so let me just, we were, we were talking about Google, uh, I mean the, not Google, but we are talking about Class Dojo. This is a tool for the learners who are younger. Uh, of, of younger age and you can see the kind of activities you can be able to give them so again we are saying you can go to photo you can even go to file and drop a file maybe it's a pdf or a word document or you're giving instruction about what is supposed to be done then you can always tell them about it or you can copy and paste uh drop file here paste on browse so you can always do whatever thing you want uh, with that, and, and you can get that file. Um, mm -hmm. Camera. Camera cannot be that bad. All right. <laughs> so you, you, you can do many things. I think I'm on the edge. Not able to see most of the, the video. You want to try? Yes, try. We don't have a problem. You can try the video. That's why we're here. So that you try. Okay. I can do the three of you, the four of you. But it will, it will all appear in the post. Because once you click, and, and, and there's one thing you have to know when you are. Uh, what are you signing in about? See, see, I was locked out. Like, it no. disappears something to come back. No, you don't. You just click class.google. Uh, do, I mean, yes. class dojo, class dojo .com. That's yeah. what you need to look yeah, at. Yeah, I am there. Yes. From here? Yes, so just click class dojo .com. <laughs> Class dojo. Just there. You do your two. Apple to chini. You to chini, Yes, that's the link. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just click on it. You are there. You are in. So welcome back. Ata fina tu apo. Ah ah. Apo kwa kona wana kwambi ya nini? Yes. So you are just how do it? I will go to the end. Kumbuka bizuri. Kumbuka the same teacher. Yes. You are in. Ata na muita jina. You are in. It's calling you. Come back. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. You see now teachers are preparing. Uh, the work and that is that is amazing what is happening now and then there's something you have to know there's something you need to know about the video when you are starting to create the video attention please when you are starting to create the video you'll find in most cases the video is upside down i mean not it is is it do you say upside it's right right side 
uh, left. It's inverted, okay? But that is only when you are creating. But the moment you post, it, it corrects. It just corrects itself and comes back. For example, you see now I'm on your side. I think yours is, when you click, click to record, when you click to record, apparently, I think yours is okay. Oh, yeah. ah, it's okay with you. Because I think it was happening in mine. And then we we just, uh, then you can continue. <laughs> Who is making noise? <laughs> now, okay, you are playing the video. That is good. Awesome. Great. I'm that quarrelsome. I can't teach young kids because I'm really quarrelsome. My voice is surely very powerful and very quarrelsome. I think that is good uh, so far. Anything that we can be able to do uh, before I answer the questions of teachers who are online, but you can find Class Dojo is an amazing tool. Mm -hmm. You can use it. Now we want to see how can students look at what we have been doing. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I want to take you to the next level. How do students, how do the learners log in? Sorry, yes. the video, when, once you finish um, recording, recording your, your video, video, it saves automatically. No, you yes, post, it should not. You post. I mean, you post immediately. Yes. Okay. You have to post so it. So when you post it, then the it appears in the, yes, they will just see the post mm -hmm. in the story. It, it is, it's, uh, because it's in my story. And because okay. you're like, I'm giving you this work, mm -hmm. so kindly, uh, okay. you've okay, seen it. Is what you're talking about yeah. You have seen it. They yes. can review it later. Now you have seen. I think I've, 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 you have just seen what I was talking yeah. about. That when you're taking the photo, it appears like this. But the moment it goes in, it is it's yeah. flipped. Uh, it is flipped. It's inverted, and that's normal. So don't get scared, okay. because like if it's happening for you for the first time. For me, it happened. I'm like, okay, <laughs> am I really doing the right thing? I'm really going to get into trouble. But then, when I looked at it, then it is just it corrects that mistake okay. immediately. Yes, so far you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. The, the I, think, I think practical is this. It's, you can, I can internalize. Personally, I can now internalize it. All right. Yeah. And now using it with the young learners, you see, it's appropriate. Okay. Yeah. It's good. So let us see what the learners can see because they will want to see you. For example, now, but I want you to do that. You will do that very, in, in a short, in a short while. Uh, but how do the learners log in? That's the question. We have seen how to invite parents. It's, it's important, you know that. But I want to, I want to give you something. You can, you don't need to, you don't need to worry about inviting parents. I love giving shortcuts. And this is one of my shortcuts. Instead of struggling with the parents, how they are going to log in and all that, because we know the kind of parents we are dealing with, they may not be so that tech savvy, and we don't want to have so many things for them. We don't want them to log in as parents and at the same time log in again as students. Maybe they are only using one gadget. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in case they sh they share with you this, so students have the all the following options of logging in. So when you see this part up here mm -hmm. for learners logging in, so learners will be able to log in. There are two options for logging in for learners. One is classroom login. This is, of course, way forward, remember, is when you're going to use technology in the classroom, you'll want to have this. The only danger of when you, if you go, you use the class instruction login, if they log in in the class, then it means all the students will be able to see what others, other students are also doing because it's one login, so all of them, they'll be able to see. Because there, of course, there are sometimes that parents want kids to see what other kids are doing from other places. Mm -hmm. uh, so no, no, you see, like, these younger kids, they like competing. So sometimes, Johnny, Tom, you know, they'll be able to see that. But if you don't want that, you only want the parent to see the work of their children mm -hmm. and stuff like that, then you can have to, to have them log in at, at home. home. So when they log in at home, a student account permission, you can't send it unless you have the parent's consent, or so far we have the parent's consent, so you have to say, I agree. Then at home, the parents uh, will be given, you are told you share, you don't mm -hmm. share this. So here, the parents will be given printouts. So when you click on printout, I want you to look at this. And I know very well you can share with uh, all these parents or you can create 
just create print out. Because when you click share, then it will be sent to their email addresses, the one you used to invite them with. But because we don't have any parent here, maybe you want just to click to get this PDF and share with the parent. And it tells them the steps. Step one, print, share, then scan. So the, the only thing here, so that the parents don't have this thing of, neither for which Google, neither which place, they have a QR code to scan. They just use their phone, they scan, and they get, or use their tablet, they scan the QR code and get in. But I'm imagining many parents even don't know QR code. They don't have the QR code readers. You can imagine the situation. So I'm going to give you another way of doing it, okay? So that you don't need, it shows. Step one, download the, the Dojo app, then use it from, because you'll have to download the class Dojo app or go to Dojo from your computer, then enter student, and then scan the QR code above. You see, it will show the parents what's, what they're supposed to do. Get that print out. Yes, get the print out. Click on print out, and you'll see the print out that the parents can be able. You can send that one to the parents. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, maybe if it is okay, I think maybe that. So you can download it if you wish it, download it from here. Uh, download it from here. If your parents can be able to get it, you know, you can download and just send to them. Don't worry, it will come. Mm -hmm. I know yours has had a problem. <laughs> I'll work on it, I'll help you. So, uh, that's about QR code. Remember, this has been opened in a different uh, tab. If you want to go back, I know this is a different tab. So this there is another different tab here. There's a tab here also. Uh, yeah, this is another tab. So uh, you go back. I mean, for you to go back. So here, let us just close this. There's this big X. And then now, what we want to do, we want students to log in. But now, from home, okay? So we want, instead of logging in at home with the, those instructions, let us just do class login instruction. Let us see if at all they're in the class. Which option do they have? They have the same option of QR code. They also have the option of using text, okay? And they have the option of using Google, okay? You want to go back? Yes. I've said there is a tab. You'll find there's a tab. This one was opened in a different. It opened for you a different. No, don't close. Katikati, uh, good girl. Utangangana Yes. Ah, that's that one too. Click on it. Yes, so it opens. Then you close to go back. You can close. No, there is. Yes. Yeah. Good girl. You're doing it. Yes, Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> gonna make it, yeah. So, can you go back? Can you go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, can we get now here? Is everybody? Let us see everybody here. You're where you class. you you pick the classroom? Okay. Class in show class instruction. Okay. Yes, yes. Good. Ah, we are doing good. Mary, may I try Mary Leo? Oh, my actual. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, you can go to students. We need to be here. We are saying show students login. So pick the students login. Then you see you have those, uh, those, 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 those other, those whatever. I think because of my, let me just uh, because I had really. Uh, done that i may not be able to see it so uh so what do we need we need this text we can pick on text or we can pick on qr code but remember our parents don't have qr codes okay they may only have text is it's easier you want to generate codes remember the reason why people have not come to class dojo and they're busy in google classroom is because google classroom is very easy to get the codes to share but here you have seen the the way you have to go because their codes are very simple. They are simpler. It's not those big codes. So if I click, I want to confirm text code, then you see the code. The students will have to use the codes like this. This is the code of the student. R, V, H, 
and they just put that and they'll be able. So the instructions are here. Um, again, I, I think the problem when when you have put a very small, you can see. When I do like this, this, this one is what I wanted. Guys, I want you to look at this very keenly. I'm now using a different method of having them to use text because parents want they cannot have QR code. That's one thing we know for sure. Mm -hmm. We know our parents. So, and remember the step, step one, students will go to open class dojo app on website by typing dojo.me. You know, for students, they are going to type dojo.me, not classdojo.com, the way the teacher is doing. Mm -hmm. Then they are going to type in that dojo.me. Number two, they enter the text code and tap I'm a student on the app and then enter. Uh, enter the text and they just enter this text and then sign in you see no email only three steps for the student this one happens when you are with them around but what about when they are far now they are at home that's when now these other keys here student login from home and i love these guys have updated and brought this it is so good because it was never here so it was it has just been brought now i don't want you to do this until you see because the complication will come. So when I click here, you see now they'll say log home with the QR code, but we don't want those QR codes. So what do I do? So the best is when you are here uh, with all the students, you can get a printout as we've said, but the best is you can click on each and every parent in most cases because we don't want others to, to go in. You see, when I click share, share when i click share then this one will send the message like this to the parent in their email addresses okay the, the message will be get your child logged into class dojo at home so that they can complete activities let me zoom in for our colleagues who are outside who are not able to see the screen very well so you see that is how the message will be get your child logged into class dojo uh at home uh probably so that they can complete activities share moments and more follow the link below for login instruction so this is the link so that is what the the, the parents will click and they get in okay but what about let us see maybe i'm a parent i want to copy this which again i want you also you you want to do so that you experiment with a different browser because if you use the same browser, probably they will detect that you have not logged in as a as a teacher. Uh, let me now bring in this other browser uh, that we had here. This one. I've just remember I've copied that link that we are sending to parents and I want to paste it here uh, so that I see what really happens with it. So if I click enter that link, let us see. Ah, so we want to see what students can do. So you see now, Beyonce logs in. This is for Beyonce. Remember, you're sending to each parent the login detail because you don't want to share, uh, because you want only the parent to be able to see what Beyonce can see, not for every student. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why you're giving them that. So um, what do we need? If you give them this again, they'll want to use this, but that's not what we want them to do, okay? We want them because maybe they don't have a QR codes. Uh, so they, you need them to use the link, Cynthia, mm -hmm. uh, so they can paste the link. Maybe this is the link or paste the link below into a web browser. So you see, this is what the parents can do. Copy and then paste uh, somewhere. But how I wish our parents can, because if you have Class Dojo as an app, then it comes automatically with the QR code reader. So they just put them and they, they're in. And they just do it once and they'll be there for forever, uh, for all the days. So are you suggesting for the ones who have who struggle? Yes. For them to download the class dojo? Yes. Okay. And and then go in as 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 uh, as students. Yeah. Yes. So they will be able to get. No, they you see now, this is who's this is now the student. This is who? Beyond. Beyond. And you know this how is is looking. Even if he has an option of making her video, even you see now, 
the, the activity number one ni drawing. Mm. So I click here to find out, to start. I've clicked start, okay? Uh, okay, you can use my, I want to allow it to use my camera. So the students can go to this activity for drawing. Let us see how the activity looks like. Uh, the internet, 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 come back, internet. All right. Let me just go back. So you see, we have this activity. Draw it, draw your card and stuff like that. Maybe, oh, this is for photo. Ole, you see, this is this one once it. That's why it was asking whether I want to use a camera. Because by the same, by the, doing just start, it goes straight to the camera, initiates the camera for the student just to take a photo. Because that's what he's supposed to submit anyway. What else does, do, do they want to do? So I should not have said drawing. They take a photo of your cat. So the drawing activity is here. And you can see it has a drawing thing there. So when I click like this, now this one comes with a drawing space for me to draw. And I can take what? I don't know whether that's a pen and take a bigger one, a brush. And then I can be able to draw what I want to draw. Okay, draw as I, as I was told to draw. So do they have to draw on a paper? No, we don't need that. The drawing, this one comes with the drawing too. Unless you want very many, then again you, but again as a teacher you can even tell them, draw on a paper, take a photo and share. Now what will they be sharing? A photo, an image and not a drawing. Mm -hmm. But in this case, now once they have drawn, okay, they have this tool at the right corner here, written hand in. So they just click hand in, I've drawn a cat. And they even have, by the way, in the mobile phone, they even have uh, some other, uh, they have even another tool. In the app you'll find, or in the tablet, you'll find a tool below here. Oh, they can even add a caption, you know. They can even add a caption, uh, probably a photo of our cat, maybe our cat, maybe the name of the cat. You can tell them, draw a cat and then write the name of the cat down. In the caption so so the parents you know them they are guarded after they have drawn the card now i want to type here what's the name of our card it's james so can you where is letter j letter r how is it written no in the process now they can listen to those teachers those learners those adults at home to teach them because you have talked you have given authority because without you nobody can teach them at home as for now and then they can always change the color uh, to a different color. You know them, they are so in, in terms of color. They love color. Color this, I don't know which color is that. The men only know three colors. Okay. <laughs> and then once they are done, they hand in. So they are going to hand in to the teacher. So you have seen the student's perspective, isn't it? So you'll find now we only have one start, okay? Because the other one has been handed in. Mm. Then we have this one. What was the information here? Recognize and color. Maybe don't use this. You have to type the instruction, okay? So that it comes out clearly like drawing. Because this one, you see, they cannot even maximize to see it. Maybe they can't see the one to zoom it out so that they read it very well. The way you usually give them instruction. So they, they will color this and they do things and then the best thing again which happens with an app <clears throat> because now parents will be like do i have to download this then print then the liner colors then you take it back mm -hmm. then you know such questions may come but the best thing with the app is once the learner has it the only thing is to get it it will come the whole of it in the come in the in the phone or in the screen then they do screen capture then when they want to submit, they just upload the same photo and now color on it. They just color on it, color on it and submit. That one happens. So you can find all that. You can try what can happen in the app so that the, the teacher or the parents don't go into the detail of, do I have to print it out? Natuna printer, na lockdown, how do we now work on such a thing? 
they just do a screenshot of it, color on it, and upload it back, and just on the same same time. Or you can always find a way of how to make it to be the kids can be able to work on it. The only danger because they are all seeing one is if I color, the other person may not find a place to color. That's why they need to create their own copies so that they color. That is it. Great. So that's how Beyonce is looking at the work. Now let us look at the work which has been submitted uh, from the teacher's perspective. Okay. Oh, so <laughs> teacher, uh, teachers are really making comments, and I'll be reading this uh, comment very soon with you guys. Uh, I mean, and questions because many teachers are online, and we can be uh, talking about it very soon. So let me see what what how can a teacher, how does a teacher look at this? Uh, probably I don't know whether it, it is this. Remember, this is what we have given to the parents, okay? So as a teacher, what do I see? As a teacher, now this is, okay, uh, because we have given this, so let me just close this window from here. Now as a teacher, you can see that uh, uh, I, I can go back to the class. Oh, I have to close this. Okay, now when I go back to classroom here, and uh, and you can see where's Beyonce, it's here. I will be able to, even if I click on Beyonce, like now here, maybe uh, I've not seen, because there is there is a way, if Beyonce have submitted the work, uh, probably let me refresh my class, and then, or even if I go to portfolio, I should be able to see uh, a notification asking, Yes, there is there is a notification. Can you see a notification mm -hmm. here telling me that a student has submitted work? So what I need to do, you can see the red button here, which is up here. So if I click on that, it shows one new items to review and approve. And even if I go like this, I can find the work. Whose work? Can you see the work of Beyonce? Mm -hmm. It has come. And then there is this thing. Do I approve? If Sometimes you don't need to approve. Maybe I find a kazi visuri. You can take it back and say no. Beyonce, you didn't do it so well. Kindly do it. So if I click like this, I have an opportunity to add comment and say kindly draw it better. You didn't draw with a good one, and then you can approve or return as draft because it has not been done so well. Are you getting the point? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now the teacher has all the tools. And you can do something, okay? So let us start with this. This we say we can't go straight to learning management systems. Let us first of all use some of these tools to take ourselves because even a full learning management system has all these tools in in place. But without so many features, we can start with small small features. Then we start seeing our activities in terms of now. So far, you are able to give a drawing activity and all this activity and the demo activities. Okay, good. So if I approve. Now it is officially now accepted as, uh, and then the work of the teacher. And, and maybe, uh, yeah, I think I've approved, unless I've not approved. Yeah, so let me close. So it's already approved, so it's not there. So I can always see the work of, that is in the portfolio. Remember, in the portfolio, you see, let me close this video. I don't need it there. In the first portfolio, you can see all the work of the students. Yes. Jana, Leo, Juzi, for today is here. Jana, you'll see. So you're able to say, this is the work I've been showing my students. And then if you have a school leader, is able to see, and you're part of the school, it is able to see what work has been taking place in your class. They don't need to ask you, Malimu, Okay. Are they doing good? And they will be able to see. Any question now? Uh, from the teachers. The question from the teachers. Have you been able to do it? Can you now give some work? I want you just to do some bit of work and then go log in as a student so that you do it and then submit and then come back as a teacher 
and again uh, <laughs> mark it. I think those are that's a, uh, then once you're done, you can go for a break. <laughs> <laughs> So, I need to log in as a student. No, first no, no, no. is, have you given an activity? Oh. Give an activity, okay. like uh, work to be done, an activity to be done. Okay. So, you got to go to portfolios, add an activity, give it a name, and then mm -hmm. say what the student will be doing. Probably just do a drawing for now. Students. Why are you moving a student from class? We are not paying. <laughs> we are not paying. Okay, good. So let me read some of the questions that the teachers have done. So maybe you just continue. I'll be answering these questions. Uh, hello, David. When you deal with kids, you mind your language, e.g., men only, no three colors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry, Omeri. I, I, I think uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I withdraw. Men don't know. Uh, only these colors, definitely every other color. And the kids are not here. We are just teaching teachers who are going to teach young people. Uh, these are teachers. These are not kids. Uh, Mary. These are teachers who teach young kids. So they are the ones who... Remember, we've been talking with, uh, with the other teachers who teach secondary and primary, but we have not really helped the teachers in the lowest classes. So today we thought it is not good to move ahead without having them. And some of the seven heads even volunteered, they wanted to be part of this. Uh, Robert says, I've signed in. So how do I go about kindly? Where have you signed in, Robert? Oh. Anita, I'm in. Uh, Robert says, you are really enlightening us. We can teach us in the class. You are being greeted by Robert. Definitely. Hello. Okay. Good. I think rubrics and whatever will be helping you with sharing, telling you where it's you are. It's you, Robert. Okay. Thank you so much, Sarah. Uh, Sarah is saying, Robert uh, is getting. You are uh, okay. So, okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. so teachers are, in, are learning the tool called Class Dojo, and uh, you can as well learn with them and find out uh, what happens. Mm -hmm. And then after that, Miriam, you sign assign to class. Mm -hmm. I think I have to practice things. I am so. Because you class. You had some kids. Classroom login, Nakuna at home login. Are you there? And you can choose you said so that I become a student. Yes. I, I will go to here. Yes, you just show in uh, show class instruction. Yes. Mm -hmm. Login as in class. Just go for classroom login or go to home login. Just share share home instruction at home. That you are in your I thought you were just saying login. Go to student login. Mm -hmm. Have you gone to student login? Mm -hmm. It's there. It's just there on your right side. Yes, student, yes, student uh -huh, login. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So when you click student login, uh -huh. then at home. At home click login. at home login. Okay. Yes. So click share. Get any student, parent, and click the share button. So we don't go to print out? No. So share. share. Because we are imagining if they have all downloaded the the app, then mm -hmm. you just print out. Mm -hmm. But but you know this one is only done once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can copy. Mm -hmm. yes. So share. You have not shared. 
you click share, share. and then there is a link mm -hmm. they're giving uh -huh. yes so that is what you need to copy that link so, can you copy that link not copy message uh, because the message you only copy if you want to send in the email of or you want to send to the parents via whatsapp okay but just copy that that link alone just by click that's why you need a mouse my dear boy yes you use the other hand use two hands yeah. yes so yes yes good girl good uh -huh. manager now copy which is control c or right click right now that's left click so go back again <laughs> you paste it in the browser right click right click copy yes then go and open another browser probably open edge edge remember edge not that edge open another browser yeah you have this browser E. E. No, it's already there. That's why you need a mouse, isn't it? You have not managed to go in. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Just the, the one down here. Yeah, so click enter. Just enter from your keyboard. Yeah. Yes. Remember, student login. You are trying to log in as student. Okay. So that you get the login perspective. No, this one is the enter key. <laughs> I require a camera. No, because the device may not have a camera yet. So you just copy. Because we are imagining the file is done. That link, that same same link. That same same link and then again paste it. This one? No, if you have a, this one, this is the link without a camera. So we are, we are imagining at home, parents don't have. Uh, Maybe the, the, the device they're using may not have a camera. So again, you copy that mm -hmm. the same way. Right then click to copy mm -hmm. and then paste it in the same uh, on, on the on, on the address bar. The same same. Or you can open another 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 tab. Yes, you can even use that one. So I right click again. Yes, no, just type back. Ta uh, tap there first. Take, uh, no, tap there first, tap before. Right clicking, you see, you have not tapped where you want to. Where, where you want to paste it, you must tap. You know, uh, you must tap the location. Left clicking, I mean, just left clicking or open. We have said open another. You see here, open another. Yeah. Uh huh. And then. Uh -huh. Open. Yeah. So, are you in as a student? Yes. Yeah. So, money. So, okay. There's no problem. It's okay. It's working. We're already in as a student. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, you just close this. I think. Yes. Yeah. Uh, wow. Goodness. You've managed. You've gone, gone in as a student. So, you can now do the work of a teacher. You are, the teacher gave you start so that you start to do the assignment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you've managed, so you can always help another person. Okay. All right. Yes. And then open another. Uh -huh. uh, that was already copied. Oh, you see? Uh, uh, hey! No, the lady did copy. <laughs> Just first of all. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, drawing. Drawing, draw a car. Yes. Uh, what did you want? You said you want a drawing from the start. Uh, now that is where now just yes, pick and use a different browser. Probably now you have to bring in a. That's why you see now Chrome is better. 
in this activity. You can take another browser, probably. Uh, just I'll take it to Chrome. Chrome. Start Chrome. Start no, mm. just copy. Yes. Copy <laughs> Yes. 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 So I think maybe what we will be able to do is to ensure yeah, there you are. It's okay. It's okay. Just open another. Uh, it's okay. You are okay. You can now continue. Start. Yes. That is your student. Yeah. Yes. So you can be able to get that done. Okay. Is I have to click on draw, right? Yes. I have to click on draw. No, start. Yes. The student will see this. Mm -hmm. Student, even if you want to see the town. I need the drawing tools. No, who could be a drawing? Go back to Who could select the drawing? Oh, it's a text. This is text. Go back. Go back to your wife. Excuse me, sir. Yes. There is a nigger. Is this a nigger? Yes. 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 So you just go, go back, go back, just close that so that you go back and rectify your activity. Yes, yes, what do you want? No, ah, this is no, interesting. But the problem is, uh, you went to where did you go to? Just go back. Yes. So, no, uh, go, to, go back to the circle. Yes, 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 yes. So, copy that. Hey, yeah. But now the instruction needs you say you draw yes. even, open, even open a new tab. Yeah. 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 Then Morris, are you okay? Um, it's on an so that's the end of the first picture. And then now oh. you see you have three options. I just oh. want to maybe a parent because you you are looking for this. Yeah, because the parent is that in case a parent has the app, mm. but and then the login instruction number so two, the device the with a camera, mm. that. Mm. the device with a camera, <laughs> just again copy oh. this, I am. And put well, it there, no. put just copy that link and put it on the on the. Yeah. Then next. Yeah. So you oh, I want to change the color. Color of your banana. Mm. <laughs> it should be in it. Yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> then they paste it in the passage. So you sent yes. it and they have sent it back. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so so she has back. gone back to the account. Miriam, what's up? India. I'm going to click to the video. Thank you. Class Dojo is really interesting. Yes, for the young learners, Class Dojo is the best. Uh, uh, I think 11.30 to 1, we are done. Uh, the teachers who are online, kindly, uh, you are free to leave uh, because time is... Uh, <laughs> you got stuck at the comment section. Which comment section? Are you talking about uh, Class Dojo or something like that? Because uh, Class Dojo is very simple. You only have classroom uh, section. So I can portfolio see. section and uh, okay. your banana water too. <laughs> class story and messages and student and invite and so you see all these things you have everything here so i don't know whether comment section you're talking about uh, sir. Uh, but all in all we are happy thank you guys for uh, you can live at your own pleasure but if you are with us, kindly just keep on with that. So yes, we are going to go on because we are working on uh, this. But the time for the teachers uh, who are outside, kindly feel free to leave at your own time.
Uh, let me assist the family the teachers here. Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to do that? Why do you want Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am uh, so sorry. Uh, when I copy the link again, as you said, right. it brought this. Yes. Ah, portfolio. We go yes. to portfolio. Uh, which link did you copy? Mm -hmm. the, last See, the, the last one you said I copy. The second one I copy. Yes. The one for password. Mm -hmm. yes. So it, it brought yes. this. Enjoy your kazi. So we save up. Okay. Yes. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Let's start again. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. uh, and then again another thing that you did is what you pasted on the same place of the parent, the teacher. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah. it is confused yeah. whether you have to log out as a teacher or as a parent. Remember that's what you're saying you said. What are you studying? Deal with the students and then the work or the first thing as in uh, okay. login or okay. Let me show you from here. And let me show you from here. Okay, this is it. This is what I'm saying. The parents will finish you. Now look, I, I think. Okay, let us see. I'm going to my class. I watch a seminar. Just watch here first, then you can go back. So that you don't you don't get this the, the steps. Those who have gotten they'll, they'll be able to assist others. So we say when you come to class dojo, the first thing, of course, you get a class demo, but you can start your own class. Okay, like you can see, I have class yellow, class pre-primary, all these are my classes. So let me go to class yellow here. In class yellow, look at the, the students that I have. Those are the only three students that I have in the class. Then we say there's a classroom, then there's that part of the portfolio, okay? Mm -hmm. So portfolio is where you now probably assign activities. So the first thing is assign activity. Remember, I'm going, I've gone in as a teacher. So I create an activity and I say probably activity two of the week. Then draw uh draw maybe am i here sure it's there so i say draw um a cup so a cup like that now ju just look at that so now the question is here what we are missing out is this part when you are making an activity you ask yourself what will the students be submitting Will they submit a text? Will they submit a video or a photo? Here it is, a drawing activity. So they'll submit what? A drawing. So you have to select here. So you see when I select a drawing, we know that is what the students are going to submit. They are going to submit a drawing and not a photo, not a video or not a text. Because you know in your activity what you'll do. Then what do you do lastly here? Assign. Okay. You assign. So activity, you have activity three, which is just activity assigned to students, devices. Uh, so so what do you want? There's nothing you can do, so it's okay. I can even go and then even when you are here, you can see in activity three, uh, among my activities, what has not happened in activity three? Not, not yet submitted. You can be able to see that students have not yet submitted the activity. So even if I go to class story, it's the same, same class. There's nothing in our class. Um, the messages to parents. Now you can even write to parents and say, hey, I've, I've given work. Can you kindly follow up and get, get it done? If they are, you have their mobile phone here, because remember when you're adding them, your mobile phone can be put so that they get this as a whatever. So you see, when I go to portfolio, uh, uh, this uh, I, I, the, the names of activities will be here. 
even if I have activity one, activity two, zitakuwa zimepangana hapa. So I just look at what is my activity three. Ah, ijakuwa submitted. Which other activity you can even check on other activities. Zitakuwa hapo tu mingi, your activity. So, so mm -hmm. yes. So that is the, as far as teachers is concerned. Kuna shida. Si mwaluma naweza kuingia. The teacher can go in, can create an activity, can uh, add a student, and can link with the parent. All that is is okay. Which one is missing? Now the student. 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 Now on the student perspective, what the students will be able to do. So if the students are, even if the parents have an app and has logged in as a parent, then they will get the notification. And then if for half, if a parent already have an app, it's easy. They won't go through all this, what we are talking about. This one will happen the first day. The first time watakuwa mutakufa kwa makerele. But then after that, once the app is already in their, their phone, then it will be now very easy for them. And then they are also linked to their kids. Then if the work is given to the kid, they get that notification. And then when they click that notification, it asks them whether they want to change it to be student. So they just select to be the student and then it just changes. So you see, for them, it's very easy. For the, that's for the second or third time. By the first time, because, but others it will be, that's why I want you to get it so, so heavy, so that when you, we handle them, it will be very easy. But it would be very easy if by going to student login here, because that's what you need. How do students now log in? Uh, Beth, mm -hmm. you with me. Mm -hmm. And you're here. Mama. So here you are. <coughs> Is it, so you are a teacher. Ah, uh, well, unajua you will end up with a poor one, you're not a fool. You're a teacher. I always could be a teacher because we had signed up. So you have to sign up. <laughs> no, not there. That's small. Uh, that's small. What you need to do, just go to. You see, you are in dojo. Yes. You are in dojo students. So go to class. Uh, you have to go to classdojo.com. You see, you, there you are, student.classdojo.com. I can change but from here. No. That, on, the, on that. Yes, just somewhere there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, class classdojo.com uh, yes. so you see that yes. so who, who are you first of all ask who you are you are you are who a teacher you had gone in as a teacher i uh, know let me just close login login if you already have an account login here can you see login here no yes you can see Right. Yes. So just put yes. Login. Login. Sitari me chukua yuan ya detail. Now, yeah, it is coming. Now you are back. Now you are happy. Okay. Here we are. I've created an activity. Now I want to invite students. So for the student, I just click student login here. And then when I click student login, what I get is either yeah. when they're in the classroom or they are not in the classroom. But now, of course, they are not in the classroom. Yeah. So they are where? They are at home. So I click home instruction. And we say home instruction, you can give all of them one if, you, if it is in a printout. But because we know our teacher, our parents don't have QR codes, they may not get to use it. But if they are parents about Nwakisasa, QR codes, the better. But even Wakisasa, stuko na wata kwa room hapa, awajui QR codes. So you may never even think that. So you may never even put your trust in that. Okay. Right. Uh, so what do we need here? So the best is either you go uh, one one child at a, at a go because if you go for the the if you if you share for Lillian 
then it will only be for Lillian, okay? And, and stuff like that. So, like I share like this. You see, uh, this is where what was put today up, isn't you? Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. You share to, you share mm -hmm. for a parent. Mm -hmm. So now you when you're now dealing with parents, you share. Mm -hmm. It's only the first time mm -hmm. you share. Once you share, this is the message you send to the parent. Mm -hmm. uh, if they have email address, you don't need. The December two, you copy because. Now we are we are behaving that we are parents oh, at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we are copying and pasting. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you just copy the message. When you click this, the whole message mm -hmm. will be copied, and then you send it to the parent, okay. either as an email. Uh, you email the parent. Okay. Yes, okay. you send it to the parent. The whole of this is hi, Mama Cindy. You see, it is Lillian. Oh. Hi, Mama Lillian. Mm. Kindly find <clears throat> this for you are daughter mm -hmm. uh, you will need to log in your child in class dojo follow the link below for the login instruction um, yes so the parent for them at what what I what I click to till be clickable they don't need to copy paste mm -hmm. copy pasting here to happen mm -hmm. yes we are yes we are pretending mm -hmm. but for them if you get even if you take this you can take and share with you can even copy and create an email and share with a colleague here to see how they experience mm -hmm. that's also important yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can yeah, copy yeah. and share yeah, sure. with a colleague so that yeah, the colleague yeah, goes to the email mm -hmm. and just finds yeah. this and clicks yeah, on it yeah. it. Yeah. Send it, you send it to my email. so the only thing now the next thing which will happen is this once the parents yeah. clicks yeah. once the parents click uh <coughs> who is this developers tool. when code our job. Now that's the problem of the tab. I mean the without a mouse. Uh, when you don't have a mouse, there are things you never do. Watch a tuna kuja kum fungia. Now let me let me show you what I was talking about. So if I was to copy this. And you see now here, I was just using probably, and I said, let me just open another browser so that it, it is, you are able to see. Remember what I was talking about? So this is, this is another student. So uh, let me just paste here. So now if a parent was to click, here yeah, I've done copy pasting, hey, mm -hmm. but if a parent was to click, the next, the next level will they will be brought to some place like here. That's Lillian parent at a to apple. Mm -hmm. Lillian's login instruction. Even if Mzazi at Aona. So some Mzazi at Aulizwa, your device, you can have, you can have camera. Come on, you can have camera, scan up. Come on, in a camera, or, or if it's already, there's an app. If, the, if it's an app, you just click to switch because you'll find class dojo, you will find you are as a parent here. By the way, parents, come on and download the app. I want to Because this one, parent, if it's in the parent's phone, if they're using it in the phone of the parent, then they will. They'll just click class dojo here. They'll click this. I can click to upper and I get class direct. So like, see when we're doing like manually, size it. Because it's not a phone it, and there's no app. Mm -hmm. It's so if, you go there direct. What? Says even if next change email. Yes, eh, kama kama atatumia simu na iko na na app. Eh, they are tender to direct. Okay. Ama kama device iko na app ya class dojo. Ah, wacha ku select. Angalia tu hapa. There are this. So I'm back up at na yada wana. Okay. Okay, guys. Back up a iko sawa. Hmm. Kwamba tu. Ruto. So <laughs> if you send if you send the parent this message, what will happen? If you send the parent the message, they will if you send the mass, this is the message. If you send the you, this is what you you don't need to you don't need to copy. Don't copy anything where happen. When you're sending the parent, you just click copy. So because the whole message will be copied, not just a part of it. Okay. So you see when I click copy, and then you see when I even click copy, so not a me potter. 
then I can now send it to the email. Uh, just look for the email. Maybe you have the email from the parent. Mm. You put there and you send. You copy you, and then they are sent to. Okay. So once they are sent, when they find their email, Watapata you on a clickable link. That thing is click, mm -hmm. clickable. So if they click it, to send a parent to a Walilian, I'm a click. Because here yeah, Atapata yeah, email, and they find this blue part is clickable. Mm -hmm. Because he's telling him, I mean telling her, follow the link, clicking the link, and I click the link. Mm -hmm. Pap, I click the link, and I kuja wapi, uh, click the link, in a letter hapa. I, I click the link in a letter hapa. Lillian's login instruction. I am letting straight kwa, kwa work. Mm -hmm. It am letting hapa. Na kiwa hapa, ako na option start. Option one, if they have uh, an app already in their phone, they just click class dojo. Mm -hmm. Now option two, if they have a camera, they will just open it. Okay. Option three is to copy. That's when now for a teacher, for a parent, come I want a camera, I want a camera, I want a app, begin up on a computer, up on a laptop, then they will be allowed just to copy this and then paste it on the web browser. So you pick any browser like this browser and then you paste, you can paste uh, somewhere. Maybe let me just put this model. Mm. Right, so let's say this is the uh, the browser. At a kwame pungua browser, if you see them, then I paste to her. And I paste her. What is she pasting? Uh, of course, then and, and enter, because that is, or rather, press search, and it will come to here, or Lillian parent. So, here in India, straight to class here, Lillian. Na lili anakiona, atakuwa anaangalia kazi, anaona kuna kazi ya drawing, ana click start, to start drawing. Mm. So, that's, that's the only thing. Let us have a break, let us keep struggling until we fail. You may not get it this uh, day one of you using Plus Dojo. I believe by next week, mutakuwa pro. Mzaji atakuwa napika, nasama, sasa shida hako ni nini? Yo kitu woni, iko hapo left. What is your problem? Okay. Great. Uh, yeah. <laughs>